Hello Utah, so this is Marty Fletcher. Just wanted to sh go over a couple of things real quick here um, to show you guys about the Stage 2 wedge that um, I'm putting in some of the Stage 2 man or all of the Stage 2 manifolds now and that you cannot actually order on the website. So basically as you see in SolidWorks here, um, the wedge originally used to be three quarters of an inch taller for the low RPM version. So Stage 1 is three quarters of an inch taller. Well, when your VRP plates are welded in place, it restricts the airflow between the VRP and the wedge itself, um, creating more velocity at a lower RPM. Um, so that's why below 3000 RPM it makes great torque. Um, but th for the guys that want uh, a few more horsepower, some more CFM to feed inside of there, you can, um, one, number one, you can remove the wedge completely and get all of the airflow in there, or you can lower this, keep some of your uh, torque that you've gained below 3000 RPM, and at the same time gain another 10 to 12 horsepower on top of your old configuration um, at the crank. You know, not obviously, not obviously not at the wheel, but anyway. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go through a couple of the, there's the stage two version with the stage one over to the left there. Um, let me see if I can page across to this. There you go. So if you can see, here's here's where the VRPs sit, pretty much, inside the intake manifold. Um, and you can see that the distance between the top of the wedge and the VRP itself um, is actually uh, a lot greater than what it would be with a stage one. That blocks most of that. So it changed the distance between there by almost a quarter of an inch. And the second thing is it's done is it's also allowing the, the front cylinders and the back cylinders that are pulling, pulling air for scavenging to go across the lip, uh, the top of the lip of the wedge, um, which can help um, in higher RPM uh, settings. So anyway, um, let's see if I get any better pictures. That's pretty much, yeah, there's the big difference between the two right there. Uh, you can see that it's 0.75 taller on a stage one compared to a stage two. So basically all we're doing is we're trying to still keep the torque, but we're trying to give some more horsepower, a little bit more top end. And uh, that's how we do it with that stage two um, intake wedge right there. So um, hope that helps. Uh, they are actually up on the site now. And I, there's the 53 right there. And uh, matter of fact, it's being, it's being printed behind me right now. But anyway, um, uh, these are available on the website now. And uh, same thing, they run quarter 20s on the bottom here, um, and they're already set up. The only thing is, is I'd, I'd like to be able to print out a template for you guys, uh, which I can do, um, and then include that with it. That way you have um, something to set on your belly pan plate um, to use as a marker scribe to accurately drill your holes into the bottom of it. So I'm probably going to start including that. So I'll have to print out a bunch of those. But anyway, um, they're just going to be a template. Simple, simple as that. So I um, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, any questions, you can email me at techsupport at utahsomeperformance.com. And we can um, pretty much uh, go from there. Hope you guys have a great weekend and take care.